morning and we are live in the kitchen with Indiana Grown and Fresh Time to talk about how excited we are for spring. We can stop eating junk food and start eating <laughs> healthy food, right Carrie? Yes, um, so I brought in three really great Indiana Grown products. I mm -hmm. always say when springtime comes, Indiana becomes wonderful for fresh produce and you can find it all at Fresh Time. So and you would know as well, dietitian, yes, correct? Yes, you're correct. Nutrition is focusing on exactly what we need to put in because it's not just food that tastes good, it's food that helps you function, right, and do what you need to do, whether that's spring cleaning or being outside and enjoying all that. So let's start then uh, yeah. wherever you'd like Come to. Over here. Okay, let's do breakfast. Yeah, so protein is important at every single meal throughout the day. So getting protein in at breakfast through yogurt is a great way, but Icelandic yogurt can kick it up a notch. Okay. So it has a lot more protein than regular yogurt and then round it out Carbohydrates are not bad, so it's good to add she a little. She said it. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> so adding a little bit of diced strawberry, and then the Indiana product here is Scholars in Bakehouse. Okay. Um, it has some nuts and seeds and oatmeal, which rounds it out. Let me back you up. Icelandic yogurt, is that a name brand? Um, no, it, Icelandic is actually a form of yogurt that of, is I've concentrated. Okay. Um, to make it higher in protein. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So you're going to maybe skip the fatty meats that people would think protein is, is what you need. Maybe in, once in a while, but yeah. But do protein in that way. Okay, so there's breakfast and it looks delicious and you yeah. put it in a mason jar, which gets points for <laughs> of lots of course. This looks so good. <laughs> What's over here? So sweet potato toast, uh, move over avocado toast. Sweet potato toast. Yeah. Okay. So you slice it lengthwise oh just like this. Okay. You can bake it or toast it. Um, literally cooks super fast because it's so thin uh -huh. and then top it with whatever you want. You could add an egg and avocado, but here we added Indiana Grown Be Happy peanut butter. Nice. Uh, does it get really soggy? I think of a potato and I think it's just going <laughs> to kind of fall apart in my hand. You want to cook it a little less than you would like to uh, do okay. a mashed potato, sure. but um, yeah, they're pretty great and they're starting to actually make them in the frozen section mm -hmm. so you can cook them quick. Is that but, cinnamon you put on yeah. these too? Yeah, so a little bit of cinnamon nice. and then I also sliced up some bananas and then also did some uh, shredded coconut. That sounds awesome. I've never heard of this before. Is this, is this a new big thing? You it said is. move over oh, avocado yes. toast? It's the next big thing. It's coming up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, good snack or lunch, depending on yeah. how many of these you can put away. Of course. What about dinner? So the last one is duck. So we all think of chicken and duck. turkey, right? Yeah. But there's a farm in Indiana, Maple Leaf Farms, mm -hmm. the north side, and they have been making duck for 60 years. Okay. So super nutritious. That piece there has 28 grams of protein. So like three times the yogurt. Gotcha. Um, also tons of iron and then I also like to pair it with uh, asparagus which is coming into season soon. Duck's a white meat. How would you describe it for folks who haven't had it before? Because yeah. I always think of duck as like the super high tier restaurant only, but if you can just get it locally and get right. it. Right. Um, it's a little bit oily and um, so the cooking you'll want to look at the pack instructions. They're actually conveniently if you just fold open the top. Ah, look at that. And um, you cook it skin side down. Okay. And you cook off a lot of the fat when you're okay. cooking it so it's not as oily as you know other, when other you're types actually of animals. Eating it yeah. then. Okay so maybe a little more porkish than chickenish. Yeah, so it's a little, a little darker, more moisture. especially because the ducks are, you know, out there moving a lot and this flying. Is duck. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> that is fantastic. So, of course, at Fresh Time, you guys have a lot of these brands in your stores. Am I right? Yes. Can you get all this there? Yes, hundreds and thousands of Indiana grown products at the seven Indianapolis area stores, um, but then tons of produce coming into season when it gets warmer. That is fantastic. Thank you for coming in and uh, making me really, really hungry. I appreciate <laughs> Thanks for having it. me. And for helping. Carrie, thank you so much for being that. Uh, let's check in now with Mark.